Hello teachers, it's a great day for an update. And today the update that I want to talk to you about is for VLC Player. Now VLC in the past has been a great go-to for us when it comes to those stubborn pieces of media, videos or audio that just won't play on our PCs or our MacBooks. Uh, but today the VLC Player in the Android Play Store is now up to date and ready to rock on our Promethean Active Panels. So go check that out. Make sure there's not an update that you need to apply because the settings that I'm going to show you to adjust for our active panels are only available in the latest version of VLC for Android. Now, uh, as I open up my latest version, I should see uh, some of my media that I've already perhaps copied or stored on my active panel. Uh, in the top left corner, if I tap the three lines and then select the settings option. There's two settings in here I want you to check out. First is called video screen orientation. It's toward the top of that list and we want to lock our active panel into landscape. Then scroll down and select interface and at the bottom of this list by default, prefer clone is unchecked, so make sure that that is checked before you play your first video. The problem that we ran into in the past with VLC was that your controls wouldn't show up as you played. Now, if you don't check either of these settings, you're going to run into the same problem. So this isn't an automatic fix by updating, but instead it's one of those things that enables new features that we can check to uh, work with our active panels. Now I want to play for you a, a quick video here. So I'm looking at my VLC video screen. I'm going to go into a prior screen recording that I've done where I talked about disabling passwords. Now on the screen here, uh, when I first pull it up, it is going to start playing, but notice how I also have some uh, hovering instructions on top of my video. These are gestures uh, that you want to pay attention to when you first open your videos. Of course, uh, the seek means that you can fast forward or rewind as you need by dragging your finger across the screen. Dragging your finger up and down adjusts the volume on the right, but dragging up and down on the left adjusts your brightness. And the options button down here is key. That options button, let me go ahead and pause this, gives you a number of advanced video playback options. Now you can skip to a certain point in the video. You can loop the video from this screen. You can also turn it into a, a box in version of the video that floats around with you uh, as you perhaps switch to another app. The one I want to definitely point out here is the exit full screen so that you know how to get out of your video. So. Uh, after I'm done viewing, I want to be sure to hit the three dots and then tap uh, this screen button here. And when I tap that, it's going to bring me back to my playlist uh, and show me all the other videos I can switch to. So uh, thanks for watching. Again, this was VLC for Android, uh, which we updated and then adjusted some settings for to work with our Promethean Active Panel. Be sure to check out other videos for helpful tips and tricks as you get used to this great tool in your classroom.